If you're implementing a certificate authority, you're probably implementing a commercial certificate authority or a private certificate authority, or maybe even a combination of both of those. If you're going to a commercial certificate authority, these are the certificates that you'll find, for instance, built into your browser. And it would be any browser that has the capability of sending and receiving that encrypted SSL or TLS type traffic via HTTPS. You would go to this commercial certificate authority, and you would purchase a certificate. Give them some money. They'll send you back a certificate that that you can put on your web browser. And since everyone already trusts that certificate authority because you have a big list of those CAs right there in your browser, your website will naturally be trusted. Occasionally, these commercial CAs will give you some additional options as well. If you provide them with some additional information about yourself or your organization, they may give you a higher level of trust, a type of tag that you can then put on your website and say, not only did we get the basic certificate from this third party, we provided additional information, and we have enhanced trust that you can get from us. You can really believe we are who we say we are because we've gone through a couple of extra steps with that third party provider. Private CAs, obviously, are certificate authorities you're building in-house. And it may be something that is built into the Windows operating system, like this certificate authority that I have listed on my server. Maybe it's one that you're building with another piece of third-party software. But it's one that you're building from scratch. And that means that everybody is going to go to this certificate authority or the one that you're setting up to be able to get the certificates they need. If you are a medium-sized organization or a large organization, you tend to not only have a single CA, but even multiples of those depending on how large your organization is. Because you're going to have web servers. You're going to have places where data needs to be encrypted. There will be many, many, many different places within the organization where you're going to need some certificates. And instead of going to a third party and paying for those certificates that won't even be used externally to the organization, it makes perfect sense to build your own CA in-house and use that to distribute your certificates. But obviously, you're going to need to implement this and plan it out whenever you're going to implement this CA. There needs to be an overall understanding of the strategy in your organization, who's going to manage the certificate authority, how, were, how will the certificates get built, how will they get distributed, what happens when a certificate needs to get revoked. All of those things that we've talked about with the whole process of the CA and the, the PKI in general needs to be considered when you're building your own certificate authority. And of course, you can use Windows or something like OpenCA to do that. There are many options available. So in your organization, you can take advantage of either or both of those. Get your certificates from a commercial certificate authority or build your own certificate authority in-house.